Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly relationships reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, click the link up there. It'll take you straight to my website and you can see the readings that I offer and email me and let me know which one you're interested in. All free referrals get you $5 off your next reading purchase with me. Alright, the questions we're going to target today are How does your love feel about your union? Some cards just fell out. Let me have a look. You've got the lovers. There's two lovers in this deck. There's one that um, talks about a choice between two. There's another one that talks about a very strong intimate connection, um, physically intimate connection, and that's the one that came out. The intimate connection one, very magnetic attraction. With King of Cups, so there's a Cancer by Scorpio, could be you, that is starting to have these strong feelings about somebody with justice. And then you've got justice, you want to make something right. You want to balance something out so that it's right and, and it's good. Okay, with this amazing magnetic attraction. Alright, well, let's see for my Cancers. Um, can I say all the questions we're going to ask? Okay, connection between you and your love. What love thinks of you? What love wants to express secretly? Deep down inside that you don't know about them want to tell you something. How love feels about you um, that you're unaware of. And what will happen with your union at the end of this week. Alright, cancer, cancer, cancer. Love reading for cancer. Love reading for cancer. Love reading for cancer. Alright, beautiful. I'm using the Clover deck. And as clarifiers, I'll use my Amira's Love Oracle. Okay, how does your love feel about you this week? And it's timeless. Ten of Wands. There is a very heavy burden on your person right now to do with your union. Okay, this extremely heavy burden, alright, is something weighing them way, way down. And they need to release it in uh, some way. It's just too hard. Okay, so your person is carrying something. Um, they might have been having this issue for a long period of time. Okay, that's how your love feels about your union right now. What is the connection between you and your love? The Empress. The Empress is a beautiful, nurturing, loving card. Okay, she is the goddess. The celestial goddess. Okay, she is the counterpart to the emperor. Who is also the overseer and overlooker, the boss, the big boss. Okay, the empress is the female version of this. Where she's nurturing, loving, life-giving. Okay, she's the creator of life. Okay, the seed that is planted within to create new things, to make things grow and blossom abundant and prosperous. The connection between you is that seed and it's becoming abundant and prosperous and growing and the Empress is nurturing this energy between you and your love. What love thinks of you? Ace of Wands. <laughs> That's beautiful because this is a phallic representation of intimacy and how somebody wants to express how they feel, okay, in the most natural and beautiful way, okay, that two people can express love and that is by being intimate and close, okay. So what love thinks of you is they want to be intimate and very close with you. It's a natural feeling that happens. What love wants to express to you but feels they can't? Eight of Swords. Your person is trapped. Why are they trapped? There is something holding them back. Something holding them down. They've got Ten of Wands. That's a hard burden to bear. And then they've got Eight of Swords. That's also holding them back. Some kind of thoughts... Uh, just keeping them away from your union. How love feels secretly about you deep down inside that you're unaware of? Religion. 
they they feel very committed to you. They you're their habit, the tradition there every day or every second day, every once a week. You're their thing, okay? And it's like they can't do without you because they're so used to having you as part of their tradition, their routine, their habit. They're committed to you in some kind of habit some kind of way you know whether it's a partnership and you're married okay or you're committed to catching up on the bus once a week or every day or seeing each other at work or you know catching up for dinner every friday there's some kind of routine habit tradition some kind of commitment between you and this is how your person feels deep down inside you're probably unaware of what what will happen with your union the sun that's a beautiful card for the end of this reading all right and then i'll clarify and tell you more about these cards the sun is a very happy card okay complete illumination complete knowledge it's like now i know everything now i'm aware this is what the burden is this is why she's or he's trapped this is what they feel that they feel they can't tell me now i know everything now i know how to deal with it and to move on with or without them or you know to help them it's a happy card it's a very positive involvement all right let us clarify and see exactly what these cards are saying for my cancers out there to give them the best advice, clarity and light in their love situation for this week. Okay, this is for cancer. This week in love. Let me know how this resonates, cancer. I love hearing from you and I think you all know that. Ten of Wands, why mature man? Doesn't have to be a man, doesn't have to be mature. Ten of Wands is someone who's quite speculative. Uh, a word spirit just implanted speculative. Someone who speculates, analyzes, thinks. Deep thinker like mm, judgment. Okay, it's like, mm, now what are you going to do? Mm, that kind of thing. And this must be a burden could be a father figure, mother figure, uncle, aunt, boss at work, someone who's a bit judgmental, king of swords energy, but maybe without the sword is just constantly, why are you doing that, you know, and they feel that there's a, a whole bunch of judgment on them, and it's like, I have to do the right thing, and they feel like if they don't, they're going to have this to face. So they're carrying a heavy burden, like completing a medical degree or they've got to do something, they've got to lose 20 kilos and it's just like, oh God, you know, I've got to do this. And they don't want to, but they have to. That kind of thing, it's just like a burden that they're carrying because it's an expectation. You know, not saying this person doesn't have the best intentions at heart. They want the right thing for your person. It's just that they feel that, you know, maybe it's a bit too much. And then we have the Empress. What love wants to express to you? Oh, sorry. The connection between you, the Empress, with the Ice Queen. Very different energies. Very warm and giving life life-giving ice queen is someone who, who stalls time who is not affectionate or loving she's just like got her walls up a connection between you so is your person literally hot and cold hot and cold and not wanting to be consistent and i feel that they like this because of this burden and the entrapment so when they feel that it's safe they feel they can be close to you they can be the empress but when they feel things are in turmoil and they've got so much going on they come across as the ice queen or king somebody who is cold and withdrawn and you can't connect with them 
What love thinks of you? Ace of Wands, new love. Mm, they really want to express how they feel and they really want to make this something something quite serious and real because they feel that you are a new love. You are something real. You know, it's just your person is going through a difficult time right now. Eight of Swords. What love wants to express to you but feels they can't. So they can't commit. <laughs> They're trapped in a state where they can only date right now. They can just date. They can just see sometimes. You know, have a drink every now and then when they feel that it's okay. And then they need to go because they've got other things that they need to work on. They've got other responsibilities that are weighing them down. So their entrapment is, I can just be with you sometimes, enjoy your company, and then I'm off. Okay, how love feels secretly about you deep down inside. They feel very committed to you. You are their habit. They want to keep the routine going. It's just they've got obstacles in their way right now. They've got things stopping them from being committed, being what they want. They can't do it right now. They want, but they can't. Obstacles in their way, unfortunately. What will happen with your union? The sun. And again, don't look at whether they're blonde, whether it's female, whether they're young. It's not that. It's the energy. Okay? So the sun with this person is they'll approach you and they'll go, Hey, I really... I. I I need to talk to you. I need to express something to you. Uh, there's something I need to say. Because they've been waiting for the right time to tell you. Okay? And I feel that at the end of this week will be the right time. And they'll see, they'll feel their way. Is it right? Can I tell you what my burden is? What I'm going through? Why I am the way I am right now? And it's going to be complete illumination and it will help you feel better. For them to approach you and to talk to you. Alright, Cancer, I send you much love, peace and light always. Bye for now.